Hello, in this video, we're going to do a really cool problem. We have P a prime number, and we're going to prove that the square root of P is irrational. Okay, so we're gonna prove that it's an irrational number. This is a really cool problem because we're only going to prove it using some basic stuff. If you've taken college algebra, you actually, in theory, might know all of the material needed in order to come up with this proof on your own. Also, if you know another way to prove this, please leave a comment in the comment section because I think it'll help people learn other ways. It's always cool to see other proofs. Okay, so note first that the equation x squared minus p equals zero has this as a solution. So has the square root of p as a solution. It's also called, it's also called a root. And this is since if you take the square root of p and plug it in, you're just going to get zero because you'll get this, which is just p minus p, which is zero. So basically all we've done was we've stated that if you take the square root of p and you plug it in for x, it's true. It makes the equation true. Therefore, the square root of p is called a solution. That's what it means for a number to be a solution of an equation. When you plug it into the equation, the equation is true. In this case, it's also called a root, right? So same thing, root solution. So why is that important? So now we're going to invoke some powerful magic. So that magic is called the rational roots theorem. So by the rational roots theorem, well, the rational roots theorem is a theorem that tells you the possible rational roots of an equation, okay? And it says that the possible rational roots of the equation are the factors of the constant term, in this case p, over the factors of the leading coefficient. Let's write that down. So by the rational roots theorem, the possible rational roots of x squared minus p equals zero are, well, they are the factors of p over the factors of one. So it'll be factors of p over factors of one. And here's where we're gonna use the fact that p is prime. The factors of p are just one and p, but we want negative factors too. So negative one and negative p. So plus or minus one and plus or minus negative p over plus or minus one. And one over one is one, p over one is p. So that's great. These are the possible rational roots. However, the square root of p is not among this list. And the square root of p is a root. Therefore, the square root of p cannot be a rational number. Therefore, it must be irrational. So let me write some of that down. So we said that by the rational roots theorem, the possible rational roots are these. And let me say but. But is a little more instructive. But the square root of p is a root. So it cannot be rational. Because if it was, it would be among this list, and it's not. So it must be irrational. So it must be irrational. Kind of an interesting way to approach the problem. 